dynamic neighbors in BGP, if you're going to use a peer group, is one of the coolest things that you could possibly do. Now, here in our case, you know, we're not going to get, um, I'm going to show you the commands, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, so that you know what to look for in the real world. Here, we're just going to use a, a simple peering between R1 and 3. So let's go ahead and let's get it started. What a dynamic neighbor is, is, is a dynamic neighbor is essentially a listener. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to tell your router, maybe R1 here, to listen on a set of prefixes. So, so, so in our case, what we're going to do is just say 0.0.0. .0, .0. We're going to say listen in for anybody. What this does is this actually is going to make R1 the passive TCP listener, right? So, so R1 is always going to be using port 179 in this case because he's going to be the passive. He's going to be listening in for these inbound TCP connections. He's going to be listening in for R3 or R2 or anybody else that's going to try and form a peering with him. Okay, but the cool thing is, is that once we define the peer group, we are never essentially going to have to touch R1 ever again. And where this is great is in things like a DMVPN or any type of GRE. Um, tunnel where maybe we have BGP running on a spoke, or I should say, uh, essentially, uh, hub and spoke, right? <clears throat> So anytime we have this hub and spoke relationship where multiple devices could be forming an adjacency with R1 at any time, we can go in and we can use this dynamic neighborship. We can use this listen range with our peer group and automatically guys are just going to form as long as they fit the bill, as long as they fall within that listen range that we set up, they're going to go ahead and form an adjacency. So let's go ahead and let's actually get this set up. So let's wake up R1. <clears throat> Uh, I should have a static route here, show run section IP route. So let's say ping 3.3.3 .3 and let's source that from our loopback zero. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this guys is because I, I want to form my BGP adjacency between my loopbacks between R1 and R3. So I just want to make sure that they can get to each other. So let's say config T router BGP. We're going to use ASN 13. Uh, let me actually jot that down here so that nobody forgets. We're going to use ASN autonomous system number 13 on these two routers. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's set our router ID, BGP router ID is something I always like to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our peer group. So neighbor, uh, we'll say I BGP uh, peer group. Um, let's go ahead and highlight this. And we'll say remote AS 13. And let's put in our update source uh, loopback zero. Okay, now here I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to head over to R3 because I want to show you where the listen range comes into play. So I'm going to say router BGP 13, BGP router ID 3.3.3. .3 and we're going to set up a uh, just a static neighbor going over to R1. Okay, so now at this point, R3 is actively trying to form, <clears throat> or I should say, will be trying to actively form an adjacency here with R1. But R1 is going to fail. And the reason why he's going to fail is because we have no neighbor statement here on R1. And if you guys watched the peer group video, I said that the dynamic neighborships is one of the coolest features, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say BGP listen, and I'm going to say range. Okay. Now at this point, what I need to do is I need to go in and I need to give it a, a range of a, of a, I need to give it a subnet, right? I need to say, hey, I want you to automatically listen in for any inbound requests to form a BGP relationship. And I want you to do it based on this particular subnet. And so you can secure this with your own internal subnet. You can add anything you want. In our case, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically say everybody. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> dot zero and then I need to give it the peer group okay so first thing is that this guy does not work unless you have a peer group defined because they go together you can see here I actually forgot to assign the peer group and it barked at me and said incomplete command so you can't use this without a peer group but you can see that the minute I went ahead and I issued and said hey <clears throat> I want you to listen in for anybody and I want you to be, I want you to basically use this peer group. So essentially what happens is that once, let me clear the screen here. Essentially what happens is that once, <clears throat> once R3 
tries to establish an adjacency with R1, the minute we go in and we say, listen, range, okay, and we give this guy either either the subnet, so we could have said 10130 if that's where we were trying, if that's where we were sending our updates from. You could have said, you know, 3.3.3. Of course, that would be the same as entering a neighbor statement. Really wouldn't be, you know, really wouldn't help you. In our case, we entered just basically all zeros. So I basically said, look, anytime anybody tries to form an adjacency with you, I want you to accept it. So the minute we did that, you can see in our CLI pop-up, you can see in our log that we got an adjacency. Now, this is going to look a little bit different when I say show IP BGP summary. Okay? The reason where this looks a little bit different is we now have the star here. Let me actually pick a different color here so that it stands out. Now we have the star, and it lets us know that that star equals any dynamically created neighbor. So basically it's letting us know that, hey, this neighbor 3.3. here was created based on a listen range that you used, okay? Let's us know what the subnet is for the listen range. In other words, it says, hey, you know, this is the subnet that you're listening in on, and it lets us know how many uh, dynamic neighbors that we were created and how many ranges that we had if we if I went in and added another range it would go ahead and it would it would give me that range here so you can you can filter this down as best as you uh, you know to, to whatever you want do show run section router BGP you can enter in a listen range for any subnet that you may have on your internal or even external network as long as you're using a peer group you can go ahead and just say listen in on this subnet okay but if I say show IP BGP neighbors uh, and say uh, include host, okay, you can see that R1 is the passive. So you can see that R1 was 179 and you can see that R, uh, R3 is the active and it's always going to be that way. There, you'll never find an instance when you're using a listen range where um, you'll never find an instance when you're using a listen range where you're listen range device. So in other words, R1 in our case is going to be the active speaker because R1 is now only listening for these inbound connections. So if you're using a peer group, especially if you're using features like maybe a route reflector, so let's say in a real world scenario, maybe R1 is a route reflector and you know all of these guys are going to peer uh, with an IBGP uh, an IBGP peering over to R1, a listen range with a peer group is probably one of the best, easiest configurations you can possibly have. You can go in, you set up a peer group called IBGP, you give it your update source loopback zero, any of your filters, you use your listen range, uh, there's no hyphen there. You use your listen range and you can just basically say all zeros or maybe your 10 subnet and then as you hit each one of these devices, they're just going to they're just going to form appearing and come up because R1 your route reflector is already sitting over here just kind of hanging out waiting for these inbound connections, okay? So it's a great feature, it's very very easy to set up. Uh, really the the one thing that most people forget is they try to do it without using a peer group and again, the, the two features go together, you can't use one without the other.